Oh, uh, no, I don't hey, think. Hey, How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing well. So you're heading into a hostile environment for the first time this year, really, because the, you know, with so many fans in Vegas, that wasn't really hostile. Do you, does it take an adaptation time to get that first one? Because you've been through this before. You've been through it before in your career, but that first road game of the season, does it take a little bit just to get adapted to that? Um, I don't feel like it does. I feel like it's it's almost easier to get your energy going because, you know, everybody's yelling at you and stuff. But I love away game, and so I'm excited for it. Talk to me about momentum, Peeney, because at home you get that momentum, and it's almost like a wave you ride with the crowd behind you. When you're on the road and you shut up a team, you know, because you get that momentum, is it even bigger? Yeah, I mean, it's a good feeling when you come out and, you know, they're yelling and hollering at you to start the game and – and then to hear the crowd go silent, it's just – it's a good feeling. We, we have, like, our own energy on the sideline at that point. Hey, Penny, talk to me about the O-line and just how, I guess, sort of break down how they've been doing throughout the season so far. I think they're doing good. I feel like they're getting better and better each week, um, learning to, you know, work as one unit. And I feel like uh, they showed a lot of great things throughout the first couple of weeks, and they're only getting better. And for, for you being a running back, just how instrumental are they for you to, to have a successful performance? Um, I mean, it's it's a big part. Uh, if, they, if they're if they working well together, then obviously Tyler and I have a big day. Hey, Lopini, uh, two years ago up in Logan, I think you probably had your best game as a Cougar, uh, at least receiving four catches for 129 yards. What do you remember about that game and the atmosphere? Uh, I remember that we were, um, you know, we had some business to handle because of what they did to us the year before. So we were we were fired up and we wanted to, you know, take the wagon wheel back. And so um, we had a lot of energy going into that game and we kind of overwhelmed them. What makes a good pass catching running back? Um, I feel like it's, I mean, you got obviously have, have to have good hands and just a feel for running routes and finding that spacing. Do you feel like you've developed a really good knack for that? Yeah, I like to think so. I like to think I'm a good, you know, receiving back. Thanks. Thanks, Jake. Let's go uh, Mitch and then Jake, followed by Sean. Well, Pini, uh, see your sweater with Big 12. You gotta, are you excited about that? Oh, yeah. I had this for a while, so I guess I was – kind of manifesting it but yeah I was always a fan of the Big 12 growing up uh born in Texas and so Big 12 was like my favorite conference and so it's cool to see BYU going in the in the Big 12 soon and, and I mean they'll be in 2023 you'll be moving on pursuing other endeavors at that point I imagine is this um uh, what do you think it'll do for BYU football in the future you think I think it's huge I think it's gonna um take BYU to the next level um we were already pushing to compete with all the top level teams and now we're, we're there and we're in it and just one more question for, from me uh with with the utah state game this week uh at that time two years ago when you last played the aggies uh you guys had a losing record and since you guys have had a lot of success what do you feel have been some of the drivers of of uh, creating all, all the success that you guys have had i think 20 and 3 over the last 23 games or so i think uh we just learned how to be more consistent you know, we showed a lot of good things those years that we didn't, you know, necessarily have a winning re- record. We would win big games, but now we, we've we've learned how to, you know, control adversity and handle it well and, and be more consistent and, and win games one after another. Thanks, Lil Petey. Yep. Peeney, as you guys get ready to take on Utah State, can you just give me a little of a scouting report of what you see from them on film? Uh, you see – Basically what you always see in the Utah State defense for, for us is it's a team that has a high motor. You know, they they run around the field. They play they play fast. They play physical. And, um, yeah, they definitely are – you know, they play with the chip on their shoulder. That's how Utah State always plays. And you're a kid that's from this state. You mentioned you were born in Texas. But do you like these instant games? Do you like just kind of the energy that it comes from both fan bases, not living – some in some cases living across the street or next door to one another? Yeah, it's fun. Um, it's definitely 
uh, means a little more when they're, you know, in state games and state rivals. And so, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Thanks, Jake. Go ahead, Sean. Kenny, we hear a lot about the uh, the herd and the Utah State fan base and kind of how they like to hashtag pack the Mav and everything up there, especially when you guys come to town. How can you give us a little bit of an example of like how how mean is that fan base? I mean, how hostile is it? And how I mean, you mentioned how much it, it gets you guys going and everything, but like just just kind of how mean do they get or or maybe were they a couple of years ago when you went up there? Um. Yeah, they, I mean, they get into it. They do their job as, as fans, and they try to get in your head. It's funny. I, I remember one time in warm-ups, a receiver dropped the ball, and they were on on his back for that. It was it was just funny. But, you know, it's, it's fun. Like, they do, they do their thing. They, they cheer. But uh, a couple years back, they didn't really have a ton to cheer about. So we're hoping to, to do the same thing. Uh, Jake, you got another question? Yeah, I just got one more here. Peeney, obviously you had Jaron Hall starting the first three games of the year, and then we see uh, Baylor Romney step in this past week. You get a front row seat now lining up next to both of those guys. How how would you evaluate how Baylor did stepping in for Jaron? Baylor did what Baylor does. You know, he, he comes in and, and he plays clutch. He does – uh, we can always count on Baylor. So it's really nice to have those two. You, you know, it doesn't matter who's on the field. Everybody's confident in, in both of them.